people. Uncle Hoots up back at it again. Here's Shady Maple. It is raining before I go inside. I'm, like, I'm trying to wait it out a little bit. It's still going to be raining. I decided to make a video. Charles Ping. You know, Charles, he's on Fox Business, I guess. You know, conservative brother. You know, I, I don't really caught, caught too much of him. You know, like I said, I don't watch that much uh, mainstream stuff. Uh, I called him occasionally. Uh, seems well spoken. Nice dude. Nice dude. Seemed. Charles, 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 man, you've been. <laughs> you've been running them. Uh, <laughs> running them streets. You know, uh, it's come out that he's been suspended from Fox because he was having an affair with Scotty Hughes. Scotty Nell Hughes. I don't know what type of name is Scotty for a woman. What the hell is that? I've never seen that. Allegedly, three years they were having an affair. Then maybe Charles came to his senses. You know, I mean, she was occasionally... Like he was on Fox Business and she was like a political, she even worked there. She was like a political analyst that come on occasionally. So they were having an affair and then like three years you smash. It. Shout outs to Scotty for taking the <laughs> Anyway, for three years she was smashed, he was smashing. And then, uh, I guess he called it off, and then she was no longer on getting on Fox anymore. So she's, uh, uh, I guess, saying he, she filed a suit, and saying she was black blackballed because of Charles. I don't know about that. Like a brother got that much pull over in Fox business. I don't know. That's strange. But, I mean, this isn't sexual harassment. This is, I mean... I mean, was she sleeping with him just to get on TV? This is what it seems like. This is, seems like this Hollywood stuff, you know. You know, you see that a lot in Hollywood. Uh, you sleep with the movie producer. Then you get on the, on the movie set. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I guess they're now they're sleeping with the... <laughs> <laughs> the TV analyst, you get on the TV. You know what I mean? Uh, it's crazy. That's not really sexual harassment. Um, Charles, you're supposed to hit it and quit it. For, Charles, first of all, you're supposed to not cheat on your wife. Let me, I'm, let, let me get into Charles real quick before I, I mean, get back to that. Charles, you done fucked up, man. You shouldn't be cheating on your wife. I think your wife had a heart transplant. Your wife going through all these surgeries. You out here running the streets. Painting faces of Scotty Nell. She got a big forehead. I know you painted her face. Look at that forehead, man. Y'all see that forehead, man? <laughs> what are you doing, Charles? You're supposed to move different. You up in them echelon places, man. You can't be out here doing what nog life, man. <laughs> you know that's crazy, man. It, it, you know, I, I hope you. Uh, I don't know. You, you're suspended. I don't know if they're going to bring you back. Um, seems like everybody has good things to say about you, except the dogs. But you can, he ain't supposed to be doing that stuff, Charles, man. I hope, uh, I'm not one to judge you, but man, you know you screwed up. And, uh, you know, I go on the Kali. That's why I first learned of it. <laughs> you know, Kali's, the Kali.com, you know, it's a hip hop message board. They're killing me. In the locker room for him. Go to the locker room for him. They're killing him. Calling all types of coon. They're clapping. See, this is the thing about black people. If you're not an ultra liberal, if you don't, you know what I mean? If you don't uh, have the same political viewpoints as you're supposed to be as the group think, you don't have the same political viewpoints Lyndon Johnson told you Negroes to have, you're a coon. And when you fall, you're no longer black. They're your coon. So they're cheering for this black man who just loses his job. I don't get it. 
You know what I mean? At the end of the day, he's still brother. You know what I mean? Like you, like, like, oh man, he he got suspended, man. He's still gonna get paid. He just signed a new contract. You know what I mean? They suspended him. He gonna get his bread. And he really ain't do nothing. Instead of dick, stick his dick in the cookie jar. He shouldn't have been putting his hand in the cookie jar. They kill me. Black people kill them. Call him Coon. Oh, I can't wait to. Oh, see, Coon. Coon. Then Tariq Nasheed mentioned, commented on it. And you know the shine. See, Tariq Nasheed is the leader of the shines. Tariq Nasheed is the leader of the shines. They love them some Tariq Nasheed. Whatever Tariq Nasheed goes. Tariq Nasheed is a. <laughs> yeah, we see. See, see, Charles got what he got deserved. I mean, this doesn't. Y'all will flip anything to this to this white supremacy angle. You know what I mean? It it, it it's not they were like oh they got rid of him. See they he thought he would he made it. It, it, it. It's Charles' fault. He shouldn't have been cheating on his wife. He if he wasn't out here being a, a shine, he wouldn't have had but be in this predicament. But see, on the other hand. Sometimes you gotta do that stuff because they if they don't like they don't trust you, you don't got no dirt on you. You know what I'm saying? On hand and he's the only one that ain't got no dirt on. Them. But man, black folks love to love to tear each other down, man. They love to see you fall. Black folks love to see you fall. See see, just look at it. Cause Colt this is look at it. Kaepernick. They love. And they fight because they crying because the capital can't get no job. Because, you know, them owners are like, man, fuck, I don't want that boy anywhere near my field. <laughs> Talk about some <laughs> some protests. <laughs> you know what I mean? They'll cry him losing a job. But Payne, Charles Payne, he's a coon. He deserved it. I'm glad. All types of shit. All types of shit. It's a shame. It's a shame. You know. <laughs> but you know what I mean? It, it's like, what can you say, man? You should have known better. Uh, but this isn't really harassment. It's, uh, some people say it's prostitution. It could be. You know what I mean? If she was just sleeping with him just to get on TV, then what the hell, man? You stop sleeping with him, you stop being on TV. Hello? You know what I mean? It, it's, it's crazy. You know, I... I, I it, but he should have known better because you always know they can use that against you. Um, some were saying, you know, I mean, the white woman did him dirty, whatever. I, I mean, I don't know what you want to say. Um, he should have known better. He really should have. Um, so. Anyway, this Uncle Hotel is slowed down. I'm about to go give me some breakfast of Shady Maple. Um, check me out on Twitter, Handyman Uncle Hotel. Please donate to my Patreon or PayPal if you can. I greatly appreciate it. Um, episode 61. Actually, episode 61 of the, top of the podcast is up. Today, after I get my work done, I'm going to do my podcast. So look out for my new podcast today. I promise you, I'm going to put it out there today. Anyway, this is Uncle Hotel. I'm out. Peace.